So where did you learn to play? Saloons. Dives growing up. By eight, I was playing piano every night in a cat house. <laughs> really? They weren't no life for a child, but I learned a few things. Pass me. No, not me. Nothing for me. I'm looking good. Shit, fine, here. I remember you used to play dominoes with Mary. Yeah, sometimes. I always liked her. Me too. But you know how life is? You know it ain't easy. No, oh, I do. Huh, okay, okay. Come on, Horseshoe, give me some luck here. I'll pass. I was thinking the same thing. Well, Domino. Not bad. Well, not much for me. this one. That sounds off. Okay, let's hear it. I'm only kidding around. You see anyone laughing? Hey. Morgan! You all right? <laughs> I think so. How are you holding up? Fantastic. Okay, then. Hey, Jack. Howdy. Look, everything's gonna be all right. I know. You'll be good now. Okay, Uncle Arthur. Particularly silly. I know you and Karen laugh at me for reading this stuff. Of course we do. But then we read them ourselves. Do you? Sometimes. What do you think, Arthur? No, I don't think too much. I just like hearing you two talk. Anyway, <laughs> what is it about this nonsense? I don't know. 
It makes you feel happy, even as it's making you feel sad and driving you mad for being so stupid. I know. Oh, and this one's particularly, particularly idiotic about a Scottish lord and a princess who was raised as a peasant, but whose noble blood shines through. <laughs> Good grief. I know. Can I read it? Once you're done? Of course. Just don't tell Karen. <laughs> Your secret's safe with me. Hey there. Leave me alone, please. How are you holding up? It's like a nightmare I can't wake up from. It will get better, Mrs. Adler. Okay. Ben, I've been real worried. What do you want? Don't be like that. Uh, just, a, just a few bucks. And I'm short. Get lost. Well, I'll go try someone with a heart. You do that. Anyway, I won't disturb you. Yep, yep. Okay, Arthur. Clean myself in weeks. Speak! Don't cry, boy. Speak about your gang. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. <laughs> boy. Whoa! Hold your horses there. It seems the uh, cat has got our friend here's tongue. I was thinking Mr. Williamson could have a word. You ready to talk, boy? I told you, mister. I told all of you. I don't know nothing, okay? They ain't no friends of mine. I just been ridden with them for a Horse while. Horseshit! You see, we heard that part, so how about you tell the truth? That's what you want me to do. Hurt him, so the next time he opens his mouth, it is to tell us what is going on! Ah! Uh, who am I kidding? One of O'Driscoll's boys couldn't open his mouth, but he'd tell a lie. Screw it. Let's just have some fun. Geld him. Oh, yeah! What's he doing? Where's he going? Oh, don't worry. You're only balls, boy. Just gonna cause you trouble. You know, in Imperial Rome, Eunuchs was among the happiest and most loyal of courtiers. No, you kidding me, right? Of course. You sick bastards! Oh, what do you want from me? Well, you are gonna talk. The only question is now or after we got these little fellas off. Okay, okay, listen. I know where old Driscoll was holed up, and you're right. He don't like you any more than you like him. He's at Six Point Cabin. Oh. Uh, I'll take you there. Serious, I don't like him. I mean, I like him even less than I like you, no offense. Oh, none taken. <laughs> okay then, partner. Uh, Why don't you take a few of us up there right now? I got this, Dutch. Should be fun. All right, you. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> Guilty. <laughs> Let's both hope you ain't trying to trick us, O'Driscoll. I ain't no O'Driscoll. But you sure as shit was. John, Phil, come here. We got a social call needs making. Where are we heading? Uh, we're up into the hills behind Valentine. Uh, well, I'll show you. John, you take this little rattlesnake with you. Any nonsense, kill him. Sure. You're gonna pay your buddies our respects. He taking us to Cole? That's what he says. Come on. I'm taking you to him. 
Look, I I'll give you more directions when we're close. But if I know where we are, it's up past Valentine. All right, I'll leave. Sharing saddle with an old Driscoll. Who'd have thought? How many times I gotta say? I ain't an old Driscoll. You sure look like one, and you smell like... God damn. You smell like one, too. I smell like horse shit. That's right. Boy, are you high. Morgan, you got throwing knives in your saddlebag. Dud said that you might... I was asked to give them, and I'm doing you the further courtesy of telling you about it. Next time you want to give me something, how about you give it to me, instead of hiding it somewhere, hoping the opportunity comes up to mention it. Last goddamn favor I'd do you. Hey, hey, if, if I got my bearings, it's over here. Yeah, I know this country. Take this track up through the rocks. How are you holding up, John? Fine. Still ain't right, but I'm fine. You damn well should be after all that bed rest. Hey, all right. Abigail wouldn't let me up. You know her. She won't be reasoned with. Well, when you was having a failure of reason and hiding behind your woman, we were getting shot at. And I'd do the same for you. If you was in a bad way. I hope so. But I fear you don't know how to help anyone. Except in yourself. You see, old Driscoll? If this is how he treats his friends, imagine what he does to his enemies. I got an inkling of what you all do to your enemies when you put those gelding tongs to my parts. Well, you still got those tongs? I got a knife. Won't be so clean, but it'll do the job. Keep that in your mind, young feller. Right at the forefront of it. I swear, I promise, I am taking you to comb as best as I can. You'll see, I'll make good. Head for him. Save your horses. We gotta climb, boys. You know, you all ain't that different from the old Driscolls. What did you just say? I've been watching you all these weeks, and, uh... You've been tied to a tree. You don't know nothing about this game. Yeah, well, I'd, I'd say you don't know much about the old Driscolls. But maybe I know more about you than you know about them. And I know all about them, so... <laughs> Tell us then. How are we like those mongrel dogs? You're outlawed like them. You're out to survive like them. You live rough. You live hard. Fighting the law. Nature. You're out for yourselves. See? This is why you're an O'Driscoll, O'Driscoll. You're out to survive. We're out to live. Free. Colm's a sneak thief and a killer. Dutch is... Dutch is more like a teacher. From where I've been, you just look the same as all. Then you looked, but you ain't seen. John, shut that boy up. Enough out of you. Boys, we're almost on them. Now, who knows if this son of a bitch we got with us is talking true, but if it's what he says it is, and Colm O'Driscoll's here, we can end years of fighting. Here and now. Amen to that. Here, here. I swear, this is where he was. Shut up. Okay, now, now cut left up here. We we go down the hill into the forest. Easy. We're going in quiet, taking them out as we find them, trying not to set things off. But if we do, we move quick and hard. We settle this like we know how. Okay. Okay by me. With you, Morgan. All right, then. Through the trees. Hey, we're real close. I'd leave your horses the other side of this clearing. 
I'll get my guns off my horse, and I'm ready. Easy, Bill. Quiet. This is it. The cabin's just the other side of this hill. Okay. Off your horses. Let's go. You gonna get them knives? I said easy. Follow me. Friends, remember, I'm watching you every moment. I ain't gonna shop you now. Come on. It'd be suicide. You'll die, boy. But you'll lose your balls first. Jesus Christ. Come on. Okay, get down. The cabin's in the clearing down there. There'll be a bunch of fellers hiding out there, too. Are these fellas armed? Armed? Drunk? Wary of strangers, yep. And Colm O'Driscoll? Oh, he'll be holed up in his cabin. Be passed out, booze blind, likely as not. Hey, over there. Someone's coming. So, uh, who's gonna tell him we ain't got nothing for the pot? Oh, let me think. The feller that spooked the game, I reckon. I'm gonna drain it. I I'll catch up. No, we ain't gonna fall for that. We're gonna wait so you can tell him yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If anyone's actually gonna shoot the messenger, it'd be that mean son of a bitch. Mm -hmm, yes, sir. Come on, shake it off. Come on. What are we doing about the pisser, Morgan? One by the tree. He's yours, Williamson. Okay. I got him. <clears throat> you know what's really quiet? A knife. Hurry up, all right. Hey, the next two. What's the plan? We're waiting. Let's get close to these two. Make no mistakes here. That's what the knife's for. When we're there, we move at the same time. Sooner we get this over with. Shit fire! We're moving on the camp? I left our guide up there. He's meek as a little lamb. He better be. Feather on the log. What are we doing about him? This one's mine. We need it done right. Go on and show us then. Okay, now what? We're at the perimeter. Time to move on him. You ready? As I'll ever be. Let's go. How you doing, old Driscoll?
good for you. This is quite a hideout. Come at me, you Irish bastard. Oh. Still here. Hey, he said Cone be in the cabin. I'll check. You look out here. What you got, O'Driscoll? You got supplies and you you're a dead bastard. Give it up. said Cone would be in the cabin. What? You set us up. No, I didn't. You did. Como Driscoll ain't here. He was here, I swear. I sw I mean, if I was setting you up, I, I wouldn't have <laughs> saved your life. It's a good point, Arthur. All right, then, go on. Get out of here. Hey? I won't kill you. No, I didn't set you up. You're lost. Shit, lost. I'm letting you run away. Now, go on. Get out of here. That's as good as killing me. Out there, without you, Como Driscoll's gonna lose his mind about this. <laughs> so? So I'm one of you now. <sighs> Give me a break. All right, then. But I'm warning you. Oh, hey, I know. Come on, let's get to camp. So you got the cash, then? What cash? Yeah, there's usually some cash in the chimney. I'll check it. Rest of you boys, get to camp, quick. See, Arthur? I ain't so bad. <laughs> hey, Bill. You tell Dutch old Karen ain't worth killing. Just yet. <laughs> Right you are. Well, at least you got something tucked away.
Shit! Let's get you cleaned up. Come on, sir. Try to remember what really happened at Sylvia's Saloon back in 76. Just a lot of bunk, Plato. It's just a lot of bunk. It's not bunk, Mr. Calloway, sir. It's history. Ancient history. Done and dusted. The dead got off lucky. The living got to keep suffering. Same as always. But did you shoot the Newton twins? I don't give a pig's penis about the Newton twins. One of them was a girl, anyhow. But you had been friends back in 73. You rode the Alabaster Trail together. Funny thing about pigs' penises. They're curly, like their tails. <laughs> Put that in your fucking book, Plato. <sighs> this isn't going very well. Apparently not. This is Jim Boy Calloway. The Jim Boy Calloway. Who? The gunslinger. Fastest left-handed draw that ever drew breath. He once killed 14 men in a fight at Lucy Hollow. What are you waiting for? How do you mean? Well, I reckon right now, kill him yourself. I don't want to kill him. I want to deify him. He's a god. I'm trying to write his biography. And how's that going? I think I prefer the duel. Either I'd kill him and be able to be Baltimore's finest ever gunslinger, or he'd kill me and I could be set free from ever having to speak to him again. Well, you're starting to understand something very important. What's that? The joys of gunslinging. It's win-win. Freedom or glory. That's brilliant. I'm gonna write that down, if I may. Be my guest. <laughs> What's your name? I don't have a name. But you are a gunslinger. Not really. I mean, folks who need shooting, I try and shoot in the back. All that other stuff, it's, well, bunk. But you fought duels. Once upon a time, I may have. And you ain't interested in fame? <sighs> I don't think so. Strange. But you like fortune. I need money, sure. Okay. Then forgive me, mister, if I seem a little desperate. I am a little desperate. This book, I've got to make a thing of it, and, well... There's a whole list of gunfighters, legends, every last one. Emmett Granger, Flacco Hernandez, Billy Midnight, Black Bell. Never heard of them. Maybe you can go and speak to them. Ask them about Callaway. Any of them get uppity, shoot them. I can't believe I just said that, but... You want me to go and find some... Sad, deluded fools like him. Ask if he was the greatest, and then if they get uppity, shoot him. Does sound a lot worse than it did in my head. How much you paying? Well, a lot. Half the proceeds of the book, if you help me get it written. I'll see what I can do. Ha! Oh, get photos. Okay. And there are notes on the back of those portraits that should lead you to him. I'll see what I can find out. I imagine we'll be stuck here upon your return. Here are some other flop house.
Okay, boy. Why's it gotta be like this? A good one! Bye then! This is it, folks! even ask. Hey, you and me both. Better have left your troublemaking ways behind you. Howdy, fellas. Howdy, do. I said hello, tough guy. How you doing? Hello, friend? again. You know, there's something about this place. That's so. Anyway, can't put my finger on it. So long, then. Hey, you know if any Pinkertons have been seen around here? Afraid I can't help you. No problem. Thank you. Goodbye now. Greetings. Well, I use a space as a blacksmith, too, so let me know if you need me to grab something for you from the catalog. Let me see what's available. Valentine connecting the west to the east, they get a lot of passing folks stocking up on bullets and weapons. Some of them may belong to a gang. Hey, how would I know? fellow who had to fight with Tommy outside of Smithfields? <sighs> yep. People are still talking about that fight. I ain't. Well, fair enough. Neither's Tommy. Anyway, how can I help you today? All the trouble in Valentine of late, and people are starting to talk about the curse again. Thank you. Hello, gentlemen. Hey, partner. You ain't scaring nobody. You blind? Oh, sorry. Oh, uh, you should see yourself. You be careful there, partner. <laughs> First time in Smithfields? Uh, what do you have? You ain't worth two shits, whole damn lot of you. You worth one tree, uh, one buffalo, one redskin. I shot 19 of them once. Well, buffalo, not redskins. 
Don't know how many redskins are killed, but they deserved it. They weren't Christians, so I sent them to hell. They should have thanked me. All you fools should thank me. I've taken shifts with more spine than you, barber boy. What a lovely man you are. Hello. Hello, mister. What's your problem, uh, Hello partner? there, sir. Yeah, Don't you think I've seen with you the squinty here eyes and the, and the big old head and the women's britches. You! Uh, what the hell are you staring? You want to be careful the there, my there. friends. Uh, you want to start to uh, stop uh, Causing the ruckus here. Come on! Come on! Get up! All right. That boy ain't right in the head. Never. Something else out here every day. Come on, don't be waving that in folks' faces. This place is plumb crazy. Damn. At least hit me, pretty. Who's talking now? Oh my huh? God. This place. Can't wait Oh boy, I don't need to get involved with this. Could I please get some assistance? Okay, now, what's all this trouble for? All right, simmer down. What the heck? Don't I know you? Okay, okay, keep your hair on. Show me your I hands. Got time or patience for Okay, this. throw me in jail. Now, you're gonna come real quiet like, ain't you? Go away. Have a good long yeah, think now, huh? Your work cut out for you around here. Mm -hmm. So, please, don't let me keep you. So long. If I ain't mistaken, you're looking for a bounty. Look no further than that wall, son. Yeah! Nasty individual. They say she's sleeping rough near Cumberland Falls. And what's more, they say she ain't sleeping alone. Oh, I got it. This bounty you're after, the lady, what's she do? Mrs. Swan? <laughs> Poor dear. Married the wrong man. She thought she could kill him and inherit a fortune. Instead, she got some debts and that bounty on her head. This lady murder, that kind of thing happened much around here? This is a cattle town. There's three men to every woman, and three women to every woman of the marrying kind. A certain type of lady is drawn to this place. Indeed. I'll go and introduce myself. Don't get twitchy on him. Bring him in breathing. Pound him to 
Hi there, mister. Morning, mister. First time, mister? What do you have? I'll have the beef stew. Hope it stays down. Thank you. Okay, boy. Let's go. Hey, hey! Let's talk about this! Arthur! Arthur! Come lend a hand here! Go ahead and call your mama for all I care. Uh, take it easy. I got lumbago. <laughs> Should have thought about <laughs> that earlier. <sighs> You're pathetic, old oh, man. <sighs> oh. You could have stepped in. Well, I thought you nice. had it covered. Well, Just wait till you're old. Is. I'll be at camp if you need me. Maybe try keeping your mouth shut next time. Oh, come on. <laughs> You'd all be bored as rocks without me. What now? Listen. Fool or not, that drunk's a friend. Now see you mess with him again. I'll see to it you don't do much after. Screw your threats. Uh, that piece of shit comes around here again, he'll get what's coming to him. You know, he ain't a bad feller, all things considering. That man's head's going soft in his old age. You better watch out for him. Hey, weren't you the one in here talking to that feller with Jim Boy Calloway? Yeah, that's Let's right. Spit it out. What do you need? More like Jim Drunk Old Man Calloway. <laughs> sure seems that way. A beer, please. This'll coat your throat. Listen, that your fella? The old one? Yeah, he's mine. Well, you better watch out for him. He's looking for a knife in his belly from some of the boys here. You looking for a repeat? Uh, give me something to drink, anything. We serve real drinks around here, not like that highfalutin Smithfield's place. A blind man. Have this. Your whole life, sir. You have followed the wrong star. All right. Well, I'll have to take your word for it. Are you still here? What are you waiting for? I can't tell you what you want to hear. All Don't waste right. any more time with an old blind man. 
Go out there and become who you are. You there? Oh, hello? You a bounty hunter? Well, not right now, I ain't. You Black Bell? I'd like to talk to you about your Wild West days. I don't care much for reminiscing. You got any friends as bounty hunters? None that spring to mind. Well, then you done led them boys here, and you none the wiser. Ah, those bounty hunters. Knew my luck had run out sooner or sooner. Well, get inside. I'll tell him you're gone. Oh, no, no. I ain't hiding from them scalp hunters. Not running from them, neither. And fighting? Well, if it's just me against Sam, <laughs> that'd be a waste of time and nitroglycerin. Well, let me know what I can do. You want that Wild West story, don't you? Yes, I do. All right. Get up here quick. Now, when I give you the word, hit that. Whole place is wired. Black Bell, I got a contract here for your life or your liberty. We'd sooner it be liberty. That's mighty reasonable, mister. Come here, let me take a look at it. Come on. Oh, come on. Stop just there. Now, set it off. Goddamn scalp hunters off your back. Yeah, for now. For now. So, you gonna tell me about your Wild West days? Running with Jim Boy Calloway? Little Boy Calloway? <laughs> the only running he did was away from a fight. And that's about the end of it. Well, a man's apparently a famous gunslinger. Yeah, so they say. But, uh, don't get what's famous confused with what's true. The ones of us that lived that life, we was too busy being scared for our scalp to talk to no newspaper writers or dime novel men. Well, what were they like then? Those days they all talk about. Hmm. Same as now, I guess. 
only longer ago. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna need your picture, too, if it ain't a trouble. No, sir, no trouble at all. Can't be worse than those awful drawings on the wanted posters. <laughs> oh, great. Well, you stand over there and... Oh, let me get this thing ready. Uh, ready? How do you want me? Like this? Sure. How about this then? We waiting for more? Okay, I got it. And I guess they'll be on my way. Here. <laughs> well, thank you, Mrs. Bell. You gonna be all right? Oh, been running for 20 years. Suppose I'll be running till I drop. Just the way it is. Yeah. Good luck. <laughs>
back the way we came. Let's try this way. Ain't you a sorry sight? Can't argue with you there. See? I told Dutch you weren't the right man for this. I'm sure you did. Uh, you all right? I don't think so. Come on. Hopefully this will lead us out. Look up there. Distract him while you get to the horses. Go! Draw them off. Okay, here we go, John. We'll leave them to Arthur. Thank <laughs> you. 